Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeep Kumar. Let's start a new tutorial about how we can receive phone text messages in LabVIEW. Okay, this is the project number two. In the project number one, we are defined about or we can say info about the dashboard shield. Okay, and first, uh, if someone is new, then visit this video. Uh, this is the testing dashboard shield LabVIEW admin project because this series depends on this hardware. Okay, right now we are using uh, like a GSM module interlink with this hardware first go and visit this video in this video given every details how you can purchase and step by step every detail in this hardware okay now let's come on this video okay now in this video first you need some instrument uh, that is yes uh, guys you need uh, this hardware this is a dashboard shield okay uh, link in description you can easy to buy or contact with this sir and this is our gsm module and you see right now i have bsnl sim okay and i am insert in this uh, slot okay and after that uh, the most important things you need a 12 volt adapter or 2 ampere okay if you are giving the like 1 ampere or a less than 2 ampere then your gsm is not able to communicate okay now and the uh, connection is this like you see uh, right now we are using gnd ground tx and rx3 pins okay now gnd pin connect to gnd and you see in this board this uh, uh, we can say in the last terminal is your gnd and in the center one that is pin number three of arduino uh, arduino nano and in the first pin this is pin number two of your arduino nano okay then uh, two pin and center is three and last is ground and white one and you see tx pin okay tx pin connect to pin number two and rx pin this last one rx pin connect to pin number three okay and last one is ground directly connect to ground okay this is the all of connections okay not need to do uh, anything okay and connect to uh, this pin to your uh, laptop like this okay now let's start to programming now open your arduino you know okay uh, this is the program is a very simple now i'm uh, tell you about info about this uh, program okay now software serial now you uh, need to enter uh, hash include software serial dot as this is your library okay and define software serial and this live view is your uh, like variable you can change as for requirement right now i'm using live view okay live view bracket 2 and 3 2 means tx pin pin number 2 of your arduino nano and pin number 3 is your rx pin okay Define you can change as per recommend if you are like if you are using pin number 4 and 5 then you need to change like 4 and 5 and please remember change as well as your hardware also okay that's why I'm uh, like 2 3 now int LED 1 12 number okay I define 12 number LED uh, connected to uh, your Arduino Nano okay and this next step is word setup for first time declare uh, your variables or you can say your input and outputs right now uh, this is your JSM serial lab view dot begin 9600 is board rate of your JSM module okay the next one is pin mode uh, LED 1 LED 1 is pin number 12 12 means output okay LED is output that's why I'm defining here output okay the next one is void loop okay this is your void loop like this okay in this condition like if if serial root available means if serial serial port this is your serial monitor if this serial uh, port is available okay that time this condition is execute okay in this condition character i'm create a variable pradeep and serial dot read if you are enter some value like if you are enter some value like i'm and here like uh, uh data one like this okay this data this data store in pradeep okay right now i'm close this next condition if Pradeep equal equal P and if P is equal to Pradeep then this uh, command is execute and this is receive message function okay and in the last you see this is your receive message function okay I'm going to tell about later about this 
now the next one if pradeep equal to s that time serial dot print only dot 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 okay for starting purpose the next if live view dot available means live view is your gsm module okay if your gsm module is connected and it's available that time it's write a value those so you are read from your gsm module live view dot read is your gsm module and serial dot write enter or display the everything's in our serial monitor okay help of this command okay if you are removing this one then you can't uh, receive any message you can't means you receive message but not able to show uh, in your output screen okay the next and last one is void receive message this is your function when this condition is execute if you are enter pradeep that time it's go to uh, this function receive message and it's work on first time like if you are like uh, recycle your power of your arduino nano that time first time you need to enter this command p okay after that's no need to enter p command it's automatic receive message okay <clears throat> and uh, first you need to live view this is your gsm okay a variable live view dot print ln what this is command 80 command 80 dot cmgf equal to 1 for activate your messaging okay the next after 500 millisecond live view dot print ln, this is main command for receiving text message 80 dot cnmi and 222000 this one okay and that's why first if you are enter once p that time its uh, system is activate and after that you don't need to enter a p automatic receive a message okay that's all done first i'm uh, this uh, link in description you can easy to download this programming okay now first what you do uh, let's tool and check com port yes now click to upload okay uploading done is one most important thing is that when uh, when you uh, insert a sim in your uh, this slot okay and give it a supply and after it you see they have one led let's uh, blink after few seconds like you see okay this means uh, my uh, sim is uh, perfectly communicate with this hardware okay if like uh, let's i'm um, turn off this module okay i'm going to tell you uh, how it's work in the starting right now let's uh, let's you see now it's turn off and when when you give the supply okay now i'm giving the supply and you see right now it's blink fast last pin uh you see yeah you see it means your uh sim is not connected yet okay now, now it's fast blink now you see it's uh, take a time it means your sim is perfectly communicate with this hardware okay remember this uh, part okay okay now guys uh, open serial monitor okay now let's test first you need to enter p for uh, activate your messaging receive message now i'm enter p enter now you see yes now okay and this is the command atcmgf1 is receiving one that is a uh, command for activation you will receive message now let's uh let's i'm uh, going to message from my mobile phone okay uh yes now i'm enter here uh thanks a lot this raser for great hardware great hardware like this okay i'm going to send and let's wait uh okay yes you see thanks a lot this raster for great hardware okay it's working very well now close this window now let's uh, try to interlink with lab view okay now open your lab view yes okay now let's uh, do programming yes uh let's yes okay now what you do first you need to create a while loop let's i'm going to tell you side by side for easy to understanding yes like this and you need to visa open right click auto instrument io and visa pin this uh sorry pin this okay and come click to advance you see open drag here and come to right for visa right why we are choosing right because first time you need to enter string value that is p or character or a read for receiving the message from mobile phone okay then close and uh, when you need visa advance and close like this yes now select this control space control w yes all done now let's uh, modify pin this okay sorry yes okay yes now done 
and first thing uh, visa resource right click create a control and second right buffer right click and create a control okay this is you need to enter a uh, command p or s okay this is the condition you can choose this one also and you can write in this like if you are enter p then send p s for s you can choose anything if you are uh, need a select then right click come go to comparison and you see have a select option help of this you can easy to create a condition okay and uh, the next one is read buffer right click and create a control it's very important because help of this you can easy to read string length okay okay and data length we can say okay uh, first you need to enter a byte how many data like this right now i'm enter here 100 for easy to read everything okay and the next one is you see in the read buffer same right click and create indicator this is read buffer you read a message from any mobile phone okay now all done and let's i'm delete this one because i already created now i delete this one now let's test step by step okay very important thing first you need to give a delay also okay 1000 millisecond means one second okay and you see first p when your switch is on that time it's give to p for continue okay but right now we need a once okay that's why i'm choose uh, uh change this mechanical action okay now right click here and mechanical action you can choose this switch when pressed like this one okay they have different like this one otherwise you can choose uh like mechanical action for uh switch until released okay you can choose anyone okay all done and this s1 uh, why i'm choose s as for uh, you can easy to understand uh, your lab view interlink with your hardware or not okay because in the s condition i am only enter serial print dot 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 okay all done uh, let's try to link uh, control e yes now what you do first uh, select your com port uh, refresh and select com4 okay and click to run <clears throat> okay now what you do first time uh, it's, uh okay uh, byte count i'm a 100 okay now you see it's working dot 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 receive from uh arduino you know or we can say hardware okay right now what you do let's i'm um, turn on my mobile phone and i'm going to send on this sim okay uh send a message okay but right now you see uh, you are not able to receive a message because first you need to enter a command that is p okay that's why first you need to activate okay and turn and you see hello friends how are you okay right now uh, right now you can easy to uh, send a message like i'm um, again going copy this message and paste here okay uh wait a few seconds because you giving a delay that's why it's showing like this okay now you are able to send send a message and you see wait a few second okay now you see hello friends how are you okay and i'm going to again message uh yes uh okay and send and let's wait okay wait a few second okay now you see thanks a lot guys for great spot okay guys now what you do let's uh, when you click to activate to receive message that time you can easy to read about the commands those you display here this type of commands you can easy to read in live view okay now you see okay and uh, wait a few second atcmgf equal to 1 and other one is cn m12000 like this all command you can easy to read when you click to p okay and let's i'm again turn off this switch okay and after few seconds it's again dot 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 and waiting for us your message now we see again now wait okay now you see and thanks guys nice to meet you okay and in the next to next video we are going to store this message in our like excel sheet or we can say in database 
okay guys and thank you so much guys if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much guys.